Hi everybody, welcome to My Big Tidy Up. My name's Dee Dee, thanks for swinging by today. Now today, here's what's happening. Today, well it's that time again. It's time to get on the road and we're gonna do a little bit of decluttering. Now the environment I'm going into, I'm familiar with, but I've never done a declutter in this environment before. And today we are headed off to a classroom. Now this teacher is getting ready to move into a different classroom and she doesn't wanna take all this clutter with her. So today we're gonna to be decluttering a classroom. I am glad you joined me today. So you know what time it is. It's time to load up, buckle up and get on the road and let's go get this classroom tidy. Well, I am off and running. Well, I'm not running, I'm driving. But I started early today because I've got some driving time. And this is another one of those projects where I have not seen the inside of the area I'm gonna declutter and organize. So when I get there and I turn the camera on and you see it for the first time, just know this was the first time I was seeing it too. And yes, I know somebody's gonna ask, is it really that flat where you live? Yes, it really is. Now, not all parts of Kansas are flat like this, but my area, it definitely is. We're talking pancake style. Okay, we have arrived. Now, this is the whole classroom, and this teacher will be leaving this room, but today's primary focus are gonna be just two large cabinets that she considers her problem area. And I really thought, oh, it's not gonna be that much. Are you sure? Well, when I spoke to this teacher, she assured me once I got in here, I would realize I had my work cut out for me. And you know, the thing is, whether it's your home, your workspace, or any other place you spend a lot of time, most of us end up with one problem area at least, and this is hers. Now she has tried to keep items in a particular category somewhat together. For example, maybe math manipulatives in one area, art supplies over on the other side. So what I'm gonna try to do today is just establish zones and we're gonna level it up a little bit because once I start unloading this, you'll be able to tell how deep these cabinets are. And if you don't have a clear zone, it's gonna be hard to keep track of everything because you can't see it all. And when you are trying to corral 15 to 20 students, you need to be able to know exactly what you need and where to get it. Because this declutter is gonna be so big, I wanted to kind of organize my organization. So we've got a sort table that we'll pull everything out with. I've got a keep table. These will be all the things she'll be keeping in her room. I've got a share table, and that will be items that she'll be sharing with other faculty members. I've set up a trash table, and then way in the back, I've got a rehome table, and some of those items will be things that she'll be taking to her actual home, but they may be going to a different location as well, but they're not staying here. You can see how the table is filling up and that is with just two of the smaller shelves. It's like Christmas today for the teacher. She's seeing things that she has not seen for quite some time. But you know, I understand how you could lose track of your items, especially on the taller shelves. And this teacher is shorter than I am. So that is something I am gonna take into account once I start organizing these shelves again.
There are a lot of box games or activity kits, so depending on how many are shared or kept, my plan is to store these vertically, and the shelves, they are adjustable, so that does give me some options. You know, as I'm going through all of these items, it is just amazing to me what educators do and how much of their time and their very own money that they sacrifice to give children a good education. Now, I can't speak for all teachers, but let me speak for all teachers. I do not know one that fills their room only with things that their district provides them. They use their own money to buy things that will help kids learn, to give them that light bulb moment. And I know it's a lot of stuff, but we have to remember that some of these teachers have been teaching 20, 30, 40 years. Some teachers have taught multiple grades and maybe they've taught some of the same grades, but the standards have changed and the curriculum changes. So the things they need or don't need change as well. So a big shout out. Thank you educators for all you do. Okay, here's where we're at right now. We have got one cabinet sorted, so we are halfway through that process. So the sort table is empty. Here is the keep table, and this is just after the first initial sort. We've got a few things on trash. We've got a few things on rehome. We've got the share table going, but we did have to add another table, and this is the table that she needs to go through. These just can't be quick decisions, so she's gonna go through some of these while I'm working. And then we have this unit over here. Now this is organized and labeled and she knows exactly what's in there. However, we have some things that are here that are on this table as well. So some things will be consolidated and go back in the cabinet until she moves to her new room. And some of these items will go back over here. So that's where we're at and we'll just continue on. This teacher is a woman after my own heart because she has found a creative way to use her wipe canisters. What she does is she keeps a different color skein of yarn in each one upright, so it's easy. You just open the lid, grab the end piece, pull out as much as you want without it getting knotted up. Now, I use my little canisters for my grocery bags, but if you're someone that has a lot of yarn or does a lot of crafting with ribbon, what a great idea. Well, we're down to the last two shelves and I do think most of these items are storage items. So I'll be bringing them out and I'll just keep them here on the table and we'll kind of go through them. And this will be the storage table. And over here, we did have to add a different category and these are all the art supplies. It was easier that way when it comes time to sort them and put everything back in the cabinets, we can keep the math and the art separate. So we did have to go ahead and add an art category, but I do think it's gonna help us in the long run. Well, the cabinet is finally emptied and the first rough sort is done. We've got the art supplies over here on the counter. We've got this table that is storage items and sensory table items. We've got quite a bit of keep on this table and we did have to go ahead and use part of the floor. Then we've got a lot that is on the share table that she'll be sharing with other educators. It's a lot. This table that she had some items on, they've been gone through, so they have gone to their tables and been sorted over here. We've got a good sized trash pile going, part of it's on the floor. And then the rehome table, some of these items will be going not to different educators, but to her home or different places. 
So that's all done. And now comes the fun part. We'll kind of start sorting everything and place it back into the cabinet. It won't be the permanent way that it's stored, but it's gonna be good and organized. So it'll be a nice, easy move when it's time to move to her new classroom. Well, what a difference five minutes can make. When that slide said five minutes later, I'm so not kidding. Plans have changed. The initial plan for today was really just to focus on decluttering the cabinets so when it was time for her to move to her new classroom, there would just be less to move. We were gonna try to do a rough organization, but we were really focusing on the decluttering, just trying to thin the herd, so to speak. Well, five minutes ago, her administration and custodial staff walked in and said, her room is ready. It's deep cleaned, it's ahead of schedule. So we are loading everything up and taking it down to her new classroom. Now that classroom is larger, but it basically has the same cabinetry setup. So it's gonna work out even better because it saves her trying to recreate the organization after I'm gone. So once we get it set today, it's set. Welcome home, we have arrived. I spoke earlier about sorting and organizing everything into zones, and that's exactly what I plan on doing. I am gonna go ahead and put the math back on the left because the majority of her math was on the left to begin with, and I think that's most familiar with her. I am gonna work from top to bottom, and things that she rarely uses or uses second semester will go on the very top in the back. And since she's been decluttering so much, I think we've got a lot of storage containers to work with. And if I adjust the shelving a bit, I think I'll be able to stack the containers and less things will get pushed to the back so she'll be able to see things and retrieve them quickly. Well, I'm back in the original classroom and we're setting everything up in zones and the layout of this room is very similar to the new room and she does have this lower bottom cabinet right here. Well, what we've decided to do is I think we're going to take all of the plastic storage and keep it in there because we've got this big cabinet here in the new room and that's kind of the art cabinet. But as we were talking, she mentioned that she had a paint cabinet. So we are going to move all of this and I'm gonna set her paints and everything. It will all be together with the art supplies. So this is kind of a little thing we hadn't planned on doing, but I think it makes sense. It'll all be together. So I'm gonna haul the plastic storage down, get it put in the lower bottom cabinet, and then we'll bring all the paint supplies and get the art cabinet done. And yes, I do hit the door. Don't judge me. This cart has a mind of its own.
Okay, one last look at the old classroom. The new closet has been stocked and organized. Here is the trash pile, the table, and the floor. Here is the rehome, and here is everything that she is sharing with other educators. So, I will tally all of this up. We'll get this in trash bags, and then I'll take you to the new closet and show you how it turned out. Okay, just kidding. This is the official, official last look at the classroom. We have all of the trash bagged up and off the floor. We have all of the share items off of the floor and put onto two tables, and all of the rehomed items are boxed up in the back. So today's grand total, 314 items decluttered and leaving the classroom, plus three bags of trash and one box of trash. I can't wait for you guys to see the before and afters. The results are amazing. Well, that's it for today, Tidy Uppers. It's time to head on home. Thanks so much for traveling with me and spending part of your day with me. I hope this video gave you lots of inspiration and motivation to maybe tackle your problem areas wherever they may be, at home or at work. Please take care of yourself. And until I see you in the next one, stay tidy.